Hello, Jason here. In this tutorial, I am going to show you the delay expression. It's a very useful and fun expression where you can take one layer with one set of keyframes, add an expression, duplicate that layer, and the keyframes will be delayed by however many frames you've set in your expression. The expression is slightly different depending on what you're using it on, whether it's position, scale or rotation. I have included them all for you below, so make sure you check them out. And let's jump in and let's first look at the position, the X position to be exact. And what I have here is a very simple square, two keyframes, bit of easing, and it just moves from left to right. Very simple. So what we do is the very first thing we want to do is name this layer one, the number one. That's very important as the expression will be looking at this. So make sure that is number one. And then we grab our X position expression. So we highlight the whole thing. We will copy, we'll go back to our layer, now named number one, hold option on Mac and alt on Windows and whilst holding that button on the keyboard, we will click this stopwatch to open up our expression window. And we will just paste in our expression that we've just copied. At the very top is our delay. This is in frames, so however many frames you wish to delay by, you can enter that here. I'm going to just stick with five. And after that is our frame rate. If you don't know what your frame rate is, you can just go to composition, composition settings, and a frame right here. Whatever's here, you will put in this second line of the expression. Ours is 25. And I'll keep our delay to five. And then all we need to do is duplicate our layer named one. So we can either Command D or up to edit, duplicate, and our next layer will be automatically named two. And we can duplicate again for three, and again for four, and I'll just leave it at four. And let's just play this through you'll see that each layer is delayed by five frames. What I'm going to do is just change the color slightly so you can see them. And up there. Okay, I'm just gonna play that. Okay, play that through. And there you go. What you may want to do once you've done that is drag your number one to the top then two, then three, so you have that first layer on the top. And there we go, that is our X position delayed by five keyframes. What I also do sometimes, if I just delete these, leaving us just with this one, I will create a layer, new adjustment layer. Now I'm gonna go to my effects and I will type in slider slider control and I shall add that to my adjustment layer which I will call controls and this I'm just going to name delay and then if we just open that up in our controls down here so we can see our slider and then we're going to go back to our position expression so I'm going to press P open up my expressions box and where our delay is I'm just going to delete that five and with it still, with the cursor still here, within the delay, I'm going to click and hold on this little pick whip here. I'm going to drag up to that slider. And that will create a delay equals and then our slider. I'm going to click off that. And then now this is our delay. So now I can close these up, duplicate that number one again five times. And that will be delayed by five frames. I can go to my controls, I can change that to 10, for example, go back, and that delay is now a 10, without having to go into every single expression to change that delay. I can now do a global delay alteration up here in the controls. So that's a very useful tip for you there. So the Y position is very much the same as the X position. It just switches around so it, it delays the Y rather than the X. So let's take a quick look at one of the others, which is rotation. So I'm just going to highlight the whole thing, copy. 
and come back to our composition and I'm just going to delete all the layers except our layer named one and our controls because we will use it again. And I'm just going to press P and delete the position expression and the keyframes on that layer so there's no longer anything happening. I will press R for rotation and I will just create one keyframe at the very start, scrub forwards and just create one full rotation around there. So yeah, that rotates just one full rotation. I'm just going to add a quick bit of ease in. So I will ease out, ease in. Let's do a quick adjustment in the graph editor. Come back out and let's just see what that looks like. There we go, it's nothing too crazy, just the rotation. So let's again hold Option on a Mac and Alt on a PC, click on the stopwatch and paste the expression into our window. And then I'm just going to delete our delay five again and use this pick whip up to our delay slider that we had from before. I'm gonna click off, just collapse these and we can again duplicate our layer number one, creating our number two. And then I'm just going to move this to the right so we can see, I'm going to duplicate that number two to create a three, I'm going to move him on, create four, and so on. You can already see that the delay is working. Let's move, move number four back a bit, there we go. There we go, and let's just play this to see what happens. And there we go, that is our rotation delay. I can just change this to a one frame delay. Play that again. And you will barely notice this, but there will be a one frame delay, two frames, three, four, and so on. And there we go, that is an introduction to the delay expression. It can be used on most properties. They will need slight adjustments. I have included the X position, Y position, rotation, and scale for you. There are many other uses for it. You may have to tweak them slightly, but those four should work nicely as they are. So I hope you enjoy them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.